To be perfectly honest, I started out as a totally innocent bystander. They, uh, the music for Galway people would be brainstorming, I would be sitting at the same table, they would look at me and then sometimes I would find myself involved because I opened my mouth. That's basically how I got involved. <laughs> Yeah, well, I suppose um, Kuro settled on the clothering motif because it is iconic. Uh, it's, I mean, it's known internationally anyway, even, you know, rock bands like Simple Minds had it on the cover of their album and this kind of thing, so it is known all over the world. And the fact that Kuro settled on that and was able to incorporate it into the, the cello design is an extremely powerful move that he was able to carry that off and do it in that, in that kind of way. He had to twist it in three dimensions uh, so that it would fit into the idea of the scroll. So here we had the two things coming together. You have the, uh, the original Italian sensibility, the, the, the understanding of materials and the technology of the time, uh, and this uh, decorative scroll at the end being completely meshed with this iconic symbol of, uh, of the Tlada, something which is internationally identified. Uh, I suppose, with this corner of the world. And that was just extraordinary that Chorus managed to pull that off. I want to hear what, you know, uh, Galway sounds like.